let those clothes keep you so nice. Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. Something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Oh, my nose needs a bath. is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right, 
I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Now it's time for I Hear You, the part of our show where Jack Worthy... Dear Uncle Jack, I adore your show and thank you for asking me. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong, I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. James, you're everyone that ever cared. Oh, sweet Jesus, you have a way with words. She turned me on. I was only dancing. Won't you dance with me? Please? Damn it. All right. Come on. I know you're in there. James. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Oh, Sally. What are you doing here? Roger. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! You're looking fine today. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on, you're not Harry.
Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but... The make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song. That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter... I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? I thought sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song. That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there? Call the police if you see anyone near them. We'll answer all your questions about life in Wellington. Eddie McMillan's looking for you. Uh, he wouldn't tell me what it was, but he seemed pretty, well, pretty distressed. Even for Eddie. All right. Thanks. Maybe I should get down to the pub and see what he's worried about.
look at Sally Boyle. You saved Eddie. Say, come up here if you would. Mind if I look around? Do people still buy these? Hey, Sally. I heard some doctors talking about you. Doctors? What did they say? They said they were going to Julia Cheney's house to make you a present. Julia Cheney? That poor woman went mad and killed her... Sent her whole dinner party on holiday. They were going to give you to the Bobbies as a present. What did that mean? I don't know, Eddie. But I'm going to find out. Sounds like Anton's planning on framing me for Julia Cheney going on a murder spree. How are they going to do it? How's Eddie? Recovering from shock. Well, that lad's resilient. He'll be fine. He's got sea legs, you know. It takes a lot to knock him down. Say, I've got a proposition for you. You know how dangerous it is to drink alone? I have a dog to drink with. You have a dog? Well, I'm not saying he's a living dog. I'm just saying he keeps me company. Until those plow boys took him. I can't say I'm surprised. Some days it seems like half the town is ploughboys. It's not on the level of saving Eddie. But if you were to bring him back to me, well, he's more precious than I can say. I'd let you have all the booty I have in these chests here. That sounds like an interesting proposition. I'll see what I can do to reunite you and your little buddy. They're always in the same alley. You know the one, where that big dud bomb landed. And they evacuated practically the whole island until they could get rid of it. I'll pay them a call. Anything yummy in you?
How'd you get in? How have you been? I got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. It's happening. Don't question it. I'm here to show you what. Now today we're going to talk about the wonderful world. Bread substitutes. Of course, a lot of you are already using flour substitutes. And bread doesn't have to be made of wheat flour. Ground barley, for example, is scrumptious. And why wouldn't it be? Barley is a key ingredient in beer. Ha <laughs> Now I've got your attention, haven't I? Making beer is like making tea. You pour hot water over partly sprouted barley grains. But after all this beer tea, it's all the word, by the way, after it's been poured off to ferment into beer, well, there are bags and bags full of used barley. Now, can you believe that people used to feed spent mash to cows? What a waste! But there are still a few calories left. All you need to do is Grind the used barley into flour and had a hand you. I can't thank you enough. Here, this key opens all my chests of booty. What's so important about this stuffed dog? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sentimental value only. I'm sorry I asked. Oh, how I love me salty dog. No one will ever take you away again. Do you want a drink of rum, little matey? How about a double shot? What's so valuable about a dead dog? Maybe I should see if it's got something in it. Is this a diamond? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. My god, what is this worth? Well, in Wellington Wells, everything already sparkles.
Some people seem to think I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. What is it? Imaginations, aren't they? All off. It's very slow to digest, which makes for a full tabby all day long. Digest, which makes for a full tabby all day long. <laughs> Wait, I didn't say Simon says gather. And now, the catchy new song from our favorite new band. Hmm, I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Afternoon. What's your fancy? Not today, I'm afraid. Can you believe I blew it all on these boots? Come on over here and I'm... Let's spend my money, shall we? Pack your
don't care how smart you are. You have to make them feel smart if you want them to like you. But they're also dull. They can't see past the river. Every man, even the most boring, has something fascinating in him. You just have to winkle it out of him and... I'd rather live in a hut in the woods on roots and berries. Oh, I don't know what becomes of a girl like you. I swear to God I don't.